All right, guess what? We're gonna go out and we're gonna check on some local properties. And we're lucky enough today to have Me. celebrity Jimmy Hart. Jimmy Hart hangs out with Snoop Dogg. Can I say that? Yeah, you can say that. Well, he does. Hey, you got a phone call. I don't want it. Hey. And we got our choices today, Jimmy. We got Kia number one. We got Kia number two. Oh, we got the Rolls Royce. Kia number two. Eh, wrong answer. I knew it. I knew it. Let's go. All right, let's go. How many properties are we looking at? Three. Three properties. We're looking at two, uh, one three-unit retail. We're going to look at one single retail. And we're going to look at one mansion. Hey, whatever happened to the house on Willowdale? We're going to look. I nice and air conditioned. I love it. And we got now, with us the man. question is, yep. does Jimmy Hart know how to close the door without any help? Yes. Wrong. And find the button to close the door. Wait a minute. Right here. I got it. I got it. It took me two tries. Two tries. It took me two tries. I'm used to riding the Kia. It's a beautiful day. Hey, I'm excited. This is going to be good today. Three properties. I'm with Don Colion, the head of the family, baby. The boys are going to go out and race Corvettes, or at least learn how. But of course, Jimmy thinks everything's dangerous. The guy's been in wrestling his whole life. That's not dangerous. Beat each other up every night and he's in the middle of that. You said, but your That's kid, not dangerous. But look, but your kid's gonna go down there, he's gonna start going fast, fast, fast. When he starts right, driving, he's gonna go fast. Let me ask you a question. Fast. NASCAR, is, how big is NASCAR? Really big. All right, so uh, what are you gonna do? If everybody thought like that, there wouldn't be NASCAR. No, that's okay he's to a, watch But it. he's getting training. He's not going there to, to do that crazy. Shit, this is cool. But wait a minute, you're the one that told me you didn't want to play in football because it was too rough. You didn't want to play in basketball right. because it was too rough. He could get hurt, right. okay? But what about NASCAR? He could get killed. He's not going to race. See, all he's doing is getting the training. Well, why is he getting trained if he's experience. not going to race? Well, if he's, not he's going just to... doing it for the experience of driving around a racetrack with an instructor. He's not doing it. But, it's going to be anything but, dangerous. But involved. why waste your time doing it if you're and not going to do it for your career? Why not? Because it's part of life. It's part of making him feel like a grown-up. It's part of. Have you ever raced a car around a track? Jimmy's coming out in the boat with us, but he's always got to bring all his special products from the Fountain of Youth. Oh boy, you're bringing your own what? Soap. soap? We got soap too. Bring your own. He's got this special soap that he thinks is like, uh, it's made out of the water from the uh, Fountain of Youth. We went to Bimini in the boat a couple of weeks ago. It was a great time. I loved it. We, uh, me and Paulie saw some shark, which we made sure we got back to the, uh, the boat immediately. Here we are. We're back. Now, I don't know, but do you remember yes. the first time I brought you here? Look at the landscaping we did. Wow. We made the place from shabby to shiny. Oh, make sure we tell your buddy Paulie, get a price on the awning just for the hell of it. I'll try to bill it to the tenant. If you don't want to pay it, I don't care. I want pride of ownership. I don't want to have shabby properties. Look at the guy next door. Look how nice his property is. If you're going to own a piece of real estate, have it looking nice. And then uh, just for the hell of it, Matt, ask uh, jo Tom Turner, take a picture of this, and see if there's anything you can think of doing because it's not really grass anymore. Look at that, brand new roof. Look, this is great. You won't have to worry about that roof for another 50 years probably. That's the top of the line roof, by the way. Look at this beautiful landscaping we did here. Rocks, plants, trees. I want to find out about getting a new awning on there, and we do need to stain that door. Then the place will be pretty much picture perfect. Beautiful. And that's the way I like to own real estate. Picture perfect. Parking lot looks good. Hey, man, look at this, though. Shouldn't what am I looking at? Come on. Jimmy's going to find something to complain about. What do we got here? That flower looks a little off. I'm All learning, right. I'm learning from you. I'm learning Beautiful. from you. What about shellacking this again? Shellacka, shellacka. What, what do you think? It's a little Listen, bit, you know. Would that look good? Shall I fix it? Okay, up? do me a favor. Yes, sir. I want you to go to Ace Hardware, Home Depot or Lowe's. I want you to buy a sander because you got to sand it. Yeah. Sand it down. I want you to buy some stain and I want you to buy clear coat shellac. And this will be your project. Well, we're going to come back in a week no, and we're going to see what Jimmy Hunt did to this bench. Second thought, I think it looks pretty damn good the way it is. It looks rustic. <laughs> it looks rustic. It's the, yeah, like the age look. But, but can I show you one thing? This def definitely needs to be replaced. That's probably up to them. Look how faded that is. You can't even tell what it's about. They must have put that there. Yeah, look how yellow it looks. Well, because it's in the sun. 
And the, the, what they're marketing here is the sun's hot. You can see what it did to this plastic. Imagine what it could do to your skin. Skin cancer's not. So, so it really makes sense. It's saying it's, it's a play on words. I like it. All right, very Place good. This looks great, though. What a good job. From hanging out with me all this time, Jimmy's actually learning how to inspect properties. And he's actually pretty good at it. You're teaching me about little things. You're right, you're Look, right. Clear, not right. clear. Send I'm learning from Ben. Send a picture to Paulie and tell him we want the, see if he can match the clear. It looks better. Somebody can get, off, get out of the park, park over here, step on this, and roll their ankle. Could be a lawsuit. All right, we'll go hide them and tuck them away up against the wall for now. All right, I just want to see this. I'm learning from you. I'm learning. I better remove this so Ben won't see it. If he sees this, oh my God. The grounds crew will have an unbelievable bad day. Over the fence right here. He didn't see me do it, so now he'll never know that it was there. If Ben sees all this, we will be here all day long. So I've got to hide this back over here. What a great job they did out here. This is awesome. We bought this place a few months ago. It's a great asset in a great location. There's a country club and golf course across the street. It's in my neighborhood. It's rented to a doctor's group. Doctors make money. I got a long-term tenant in there. We fixed the place up a little. He should be happy. We're happy. Everybody's happy. We're getting a great return on our investment. And that's the story. If you enjoy watching the video, hit the like button or dislike. I don't care. Do something. What people have to understand is, yes, I bought this property. But yes, I need to finance it. And before you finance it, you need an appraisal. And when you bring the appraiser out there, you want the place to be looking good because the better it looks, the more it's worth. Listen, if you want to learn about buying, fixing, and investing in real estate like this or any other type, you need to go to the show and come see us live and hang out. We're gonna have over an hour and a half real deal, raw real estate seminar with me, Ben Jr., Vincent, go to benmallet.com slash live and come to the show. Either book a room or buy a ticket. If you book a room for two, that comes with two tickets for the special package, you get in a room for free. Get out the car, God damn it! I told you we should have taken the Kia. You won't break my car, I'm going to kill you. If we bring the Kia... The Kia. The They're going to put you works. in a Kia, right? A Kia freaking hurts. Hey, look, look. Stop! Turn the car on. The car won't start? They thought you were committing suicide. Close the fucking doors. See, right, right, take the key and shut it down. God damn it. Kia always Get off my car! The Kia always starts. Get your hand off my car. All right, lock it up. Put the car to sleep. Right? I don't know. These cars are sensitive. He presses the button as I'm opening the door. The button's supposed to close the door. He fucks up the whole computer. Hey, should we get a tow truck? Oh, it started. Now, there you go. Now, roll all the windows up. What do you... What, have your door went closed? No, it closed. I stopped it. Why? The car needs to be tight. And now you want... Shut why, up! You already you fucked you up my rolls. You wonder why your stomach hurts. You wonder why your stomach hurts. That's why his stomach hurts. He's always screaming yeah. and yelling you and don't, smoking. Well, when you got a half a million dollar goddamn car, you don't want to take it to the shop to get fixed, now do if you? If you got a Kia, it wouldn't have happened. All right, we just got here. Of course, Ben's on the phone making a big multi-million dollar deal. So you're stuck with me for a few minutes. But look, look how much the grass has grown. Man, somebody needs to cut this. Ben will have a fit over this. I know he's going to have a fit over this. You watch and see. The grass needs to be cut. Oh, oh whoo, somebody's going to get in trouble. This makes sense. Now I know why Carla wants to move here. She's got a tennis court where she can play tennis all day long and all night long. Plus, that'll get Ben out here on the tennis court to get some exercise. This is great. We got a brand new pool. Matt, did you ever do like I asked you to do and, and know how to turn this hot tub on? Yes, Prove it. Let's see if back can turn the hot tub on. Drum roll, drum roll. 
Jimmy, you should take a swim. This pool looks beautiful. Look at that beautiful glass tile in it. Hey, but Ben, Ben, look at this though. Now I know why Carla would like to move out of your house over to here. Look at the tennis court. That's right. You but then she won't see the tennis instructor, and she don't like that, does she? Listen, no, you'll be playing tennis with her 24-7. Yeah, right. You'll be day playing and tennis I can't play her. tennis. 24-7, baby. I can't even barely play table tennis. Oh, what do we got here, Jimmy? We got us a hot tub working, baby. I love All it. All the jets are blowing. Look at that. Way to go, Matt. You win, baby. There we go. Jimmy, take a dip. The heat's not on. Very good. Give Matt a star for the day. Are you sure if somebody puts from up here, the ball's not going to roll down the hill, over there, over the bank, but into the tennis court? I don't know. Try. Shouldn't they put a little fence up over there to hold the ball in? Good idea. Tell Neil. Neil. I, lo I love Jimmy Hart, but he can be a nitpicking little worry wart. Yeah. Oh, don't you. Jimmy lives in another world. All right, I've been very busy. I left this project to Tony and Matt to handle. Basically, just to give you an update, I was getting ready to put it on the market. Tony says, no, 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 wait, I may have a buyer. So that took us on a whole nother ride. Tell us about the ride you just took us on and what happened. Because these things happen in real estate. No, it's true. So we had a very serious buyer come in and uh, she came in with a very strong offer, fast close. Um, did what any good buyer would do, and that's hire home inspectors to crawl through every inch of the house. And they came back with their nice, big, fat checklist of uh, mostly odds and ends. Uh, it is an old house, it's gonna have some odds and ends things. They got really good at nitpicking everything. You know, this door handle squeaks a little, you know, this light bulb's burnt out. We didn't turn on the jacuzzi, so we couldn't tell if it worked or not. I mean, what kind of inspector doesn't turn on the jacuzzi? But the couple big ones that came up, one was the roof. Um, the roof was fine, but the insurance companies would not insure the house because the roof was old. So our buyer was not able to close on the house because the insurance company would not insure it because the roof, in their opinion, was too old, even though it was perfectly fine. So we came in and we put a whole new roof on the house. What else? Well, when they did that, they also put in, uh, they fixed any wood that needed to be damaged. We're gonna have the painter come out and paint that. Uh, we also went through, uh, the inspectors checked all the windows. So the windows are original. And a uh, quick tip for anyone, uh, we went out there uh, and contacted the original manufacturer, which was Anderson Windows, because you know all these window companies say, lifetime warranty. So it wasn't quite lifetime, it had just expired. So they sent their reps out. Uh, they're gonna be all replaced with original parts, which is nice, and we're just waiting for that. Um, as part of the closing. All right, so we had to put a new roof on the joint. He's got some windows that are gonna be replaced. And we're knocking out the punch list that they gave us, a little tiny minor the, stuff uh, that had to be done. And hopefully now, either your buyer's gonna come through or we're putting the baby on the market. See how these uh, windows have like this silver reflection on the outside? that there is an actual silver coating in the glass. So you can't just get any glass company to replace a fogged window. It has to be the matching glass. It's gonna stand out really bad. So the window is a two pane window and it has a rubber seal and it was made that way for energy efficiency and insulation. And over time that rubber can deteriorate and then it breaks the seal. So all the outside air and humidity, moisture, moisture can get in there. And that's how moisture, you can... sounds Jewish. Hey, moisture's got in the windows. And it's literally fog inside the window. All right, so we got some windows to replace the glass, but otherwise we put a new roof on the joint. Uh, everything else is pretty much done. Yeah, I mean, half the list was irrelevant. You know, the, the inspectors just couldn't do things. Like, oh, this doesn't have hot water. It's not supposed to have hot water. It's a cold water faucet up in the bath, in the bedroom. All right, we got a little minor things left to do, and this puppy will be gone. A roof on this house with the extra roof on the cabana. Uh, and the know, guest house. And the guest house, probably around about, who knows, 100 grand. Yeah, 100, 150. All right. And the roof has did some damage here. They fucked up our grass. What about that dash right there? Is she going to do anything about it? She is. I sent her the... When? Oh, Tell God. her we can't wait. We got showings on this house. Push her. She's not going to do shit about the grass. She fucked up my grass, but she don't care. Did they know what a great neighborhood this is, though? The most famous wrestler in the world used to live next door. Al Perez? Hulk Hogan. Oh, Hulk Hogan. And Jimmy used to party there all the time. All the time. Well, he had a show great there. Time. He had a show. Show there. One Hogan the knows shows best. Yeah. He had his whole family right next on a show there. What a great neighborhood. And hey. Evil Knievel used to live a couple of doors down down here. All right, now tell us about the docks. You walked my ass all the way down there. Place came with some broken down docks. It is what it is. 
So what do we have with the docks? So we've uh, hired the dock company. They have filed all of the permits with the county and the state, um, Army Corps of Engineers, everybody that has to be involved with that. So that's been uh, done, paid. We're just waiting for those to get installed. The seawall was a little old. Um, so as part of the, you know, making this deal go through with this buyer, we've contracted to replace the seawall. So you that, already contracted that? We contracted it, um, got the HOA approval, everything in place. So that's supposed to be done this month in the month of September. So basically this house is gonna come with a brand new roof, brand new docks, a brand new seawall, and everything else is in tip top shape. Turn key, baby, turn key. Uh, what else you got left? Anything significant on that list? No, Neil said it'll take another day and he'll be punched out with all the little stuff. All right, well, now is the inspecting company gonna come back and sh prove and check all this stuff that we did it all? Yes. Yeah, so You're going to hold their hand and say, here, we did this, we did that, we did this. We actually have a whole report uh, addressing every single item on their list um, as the status of it. And then they're going to come through and she's going to have them reinspect everything to make sure. There's a few things we didn't do. Like they complain that the fridge is old. The fridge is original and it's a $16,000 fridge and works perfectly fine. Why would you replace that? If it works, leave it alone. Okay, the point is this. I don't care who you're buying a house from or what the house may look like. You really should get a home inspection because the home inspection is going to tell you everything wrong with it. I do it all the time. All right. And now you know what you're walking into. And now me as a seller knows every single thing that I need to fix in the place. We were going to do one at the beginning, but then Tony said, ah, let's just wing it. We know everything, but they got us. But that's their job to get us. I'm glad what happened that way. But now you better see if your buyer's ready to go through with this deal, because if she's not, I'm putting this baby on the market. This piggy's going to the market. I appreciate you coming all the way down here, and thank you very much. Now, where's my sign for John's Pass? I got hotel rooms to book there. Where's the plans and the bids to build on Clearwater Beach Hotel? Where are we at with building a John's Pass on the empty lot? I give this guy stuff to do, but you know, hey, I'm busy. Swing and hit a little ball. I ain't got time for that shit, I'm sorry. I ain't got more important things doing. Plus, I'd rather spend my time maybe helping somebody out in life or doing something positive than hitting a fucking ball 18 times or 30-something times or 50-something for me or 60-something, 70-something times. 18 holes to me, probably each hole probably takes about four shots. Oh, boy, man. So, who the fuck's honking? Oh, he's honking. All right, you're going too slow. You saw when we were looking at buying this property, we bought it. We ain't out here playing games, wasting time. We bought the property. The parking lot looked like crap. We came in, we put a whole new parking lot in here. We didn't just go in here and put a new chemical on it. We actually put new asphalt on it. We had a company come in and put all new shit in. They restriped it. And now you got a fresh parking lot. Look at that, old and new. You know, this is a nice little retail place. We bought it in my neighborhood. It was a good price. We got great tenants here. We came in, we put in a new parking lot. We done a little fixing for the tenants and got them all squared away. But basically that's all we had to do. You know, the guy put a new roof on it before we bought it. It's in good shape. It's an older place, but it's in good shape. And that's it. Now we just sit back, collect the rent, and work with the tenants the best we can. Ben, can I ask you something? Yes, Jimmy, you can ask me something. Is the Flying Needle a tattoo shop? No, the Flying Needle is somewhere I've enrolled you in taking needlepoint classes. Oh, okay. Plus, you might meet a lot of nice old ladies there. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. So that's it. All right, so basically, what happened? You saw these properties when I was looking at buying them. I bought them. I fixed them. What did you think? Great job. I thought everything was spectacular. I think they're going to be, uh, well, the Willowdale house is going to be an easy sell. I think you got a home run on that one. And the other two, I spruced them up. They yeah. rented out. We're making money. That's all there is to it. That's why you're the man. I always say the first family of real estate, Ben Mala and his family. Do you want to make money in real estate? Do you want a lifestyle like this with the big fancy house and all the attachments that come with it? Seriously? Then you need to come to our seminar. And it's going to be a party too. We're going to talk real estate. We're going to network with other people. It's all about the right people at the right place at the right time. Don't miss that time. September 10th and 11th. Go to benmala.com slash live and book the ticket and the room. If you book a room for two with two tickets, 
You get in the room for free. It's the same price as the admission. Free room, baby. Get your two tickets now. We're gonna do a couple hours seminar raw, baby. You'll have me, you'll have my sons there. We all got hundreds of millions of dollars of experience buying and selling and doing everything to real estate. What else can you ask for? You wanna get in? Get in where you fit in. And you can fit in with us. Subscribe, watch another video. And hit the like button, baby. Adios, amigos.